بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay, now in this section, we'll try to get into something called EHR pre troubleshooting. Uh, we'll try to see what are the things we need to check if you want to do troubleshooting with EHR. So let's get started. So when we start with the troubleshooting EHR, there are two things we'll we'll do. So the first thing is we'll try to troubleshoot something called uh, EHR neighborship. So we'll be starting with something like uh, troubleshooting the EHR neighbor adjacency. Because when we get into some protocols like OSP of EHRP, the, the basic process depends upon the neighbors. So if the neighbor relationship is established, then only they will start exchanging the routes. So we'll start with troubleshooting EHRP neighbor adjacencies or the neighbors. And once we confirm that the neighborship is established, but still the other problem may be like troubleshooting the EHRP routes. Maybe the neighborship is established, but there is no route exchange. Now, what are the what are the things you need to check if the neighborship is not established? And if the neighborship is established, but there is no route exchange, then what are the things we need to check? So probably we'll divide this into uh, two sections here. And then we'll try to see some of the troubleshooting, troubleshooting tickets. Uh, probably some of the issues I'll try to configure and then we'll verify with task by task. And then probably uh, at the end, I'll also add some addi additional things. Like if you are doing load balancing and if it is not working, then what, what are the things you need to check? Or if you are implementing some other route filtering options, if that is not working. So like that, there are some miscellaneous, probably some other options relating to EHR. We will also talk about that. So again, before we start, as, as we know, in the previous sections, we have seen there are few things you need to keep in mind before you start the troubleshooting like the prerequisites so at this point of time i expect you to know the prerequisites like you need to know your network the topology and the connectivity and also we need to understand the core technology concepts like here if i'm using ehrp then what are the things how the ehrp works how it is configured properly those things and we are going to assume that the LAN is fine. So there's no problem in the LAN side. So we'll assume that way. And finally, uh, we, we also need to identify where exactly the problem is. So these are the things what we already covered in the previous section. And we are assuming that there is no problem with the WAN connectivity and the LAN connectivity. And we know all this stuff. So let's get started with troubleshooting EHRP neighbor adjacency. So there are there are plenty of reasons for EHRP neighborship for uh, neighborship not establishing. And to troubleshoot, we'll start with something called EHRP uh, top neighbor table. So the first command we use is show IP EHRP neighbors. So when we say show IP EHRP neighbors, I'm expecting the neighbor entry should be in the neighbor table. Like in my case, let's say the router one, if if everything is okay, I should see as per my topology. So I should have something like two, uh, two neighbors here, right? As per my topology here. So in my case, that is something what I'm expecting. Similar way, if I'm verifying on the router three, then I'm expecting two neighbors on the router three as well as per my topology. So the first thing we'll start with, uh, with the neighborship. And uh, make sure that if, if, let's say, if the neighborship is not establishing, then the first will start up with something called ensure that the interface must be up and up. Like in my example, I'm going to uh, verify the neighborship between these two routers, let's say the router one and the router two. And if the neighborship is not uh, forming, then probably I'm going to see whether the interface is up or not. So let's get started here. So what I did is I do have a pre-configured topology in my GNS3. And also I do have some configurations already done here. So what I did is I, I do have some uh, configurations here. According to that, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to verify a few troubleshooting things here. 
so the first thing um, my requirement here is the router one and two should establish the neighborship so i have made some changes i inserted some of the issues here so that we can uh, we can verify between them first always we start up with let's say we figure out that the problem is between the router one and the router two so we'll try to verify the neighbor command and it says it is not forming the neighborship so it means there is a problem here so the next thing we'll try to confirm that the interface should be up so if i start with verifying the interface status so the router one and the router two is connecting on this interface and you can clearly see the interface is up and down so again if you see up and down means most likely the uh, interface might be in uh, some connectivity issue or protocol in mismatch those things i'll go to router 2 also and i'll verify the status here so you can see as i said i have inserted some issues here so as per my uh, topology you can see this interface is actually in a shutdown state so I have EHRP pre-configured here and if there is any misconfigurations we'll verify and this interface actually in a shutdown state then there is no way the neighborship is going to form. So we need to make sure that the interface is up. So how we are going to fix this? This we know. We need to simply go and say interface S1 by 0 and say no shutdown command. So no shutdown command makes the interface up because if it is administrative down, so I'm going to say again, show IP interface brief. Now you can see the interface is up. And if I try to ping to the opposite interface, if everything is okay, I should be able to get a reply. So this basically confirms that we do have a connectivity or reachability between the two interfaces. So the first thing you start up with the prerequisite things because if the interface is down, there is no way EHRP neighborship is going to establish.